Mm. Spencer and I come back. I'm very happy. I love the kid. Huh? He's my caddy, but he still needs more training. I tell him, give me five iron. And he, he, he iron her neck by his jersey. Uh. Let's go Panthers. Let's go Panthers. Let's go Panthers. Let's go. So we got the Sabres tonight, Spencer Knights and goal. What could go wrong? Should be a beautiful night. We've got nine of the next ten games on the road. We got one home game in the next three weeks. It's less than optimal, but we knew that was coming. We had a million home games at the beginning of the season. So it's this weird thing where the you know everybody said, Oh, the Panthers have the easiest schedule the second half of the season. That's always garbage because number one. It goes by the winning percentage of the teams that have are you know that, that they have left to play, and everybody knows the second half of the season teams start to play a lot tougher. Especially some of these West Coast games we've got coming up next week. Most of them are against teams that are fighting for a playoff spot. The Western Conference has a lot of competition for those last couple of wild card spots, so I expect a lot of competitive hockey. This game, however, I just want a nice, clean game from Spencer Knight, so he can just remove any doubt that he's our backup. He's the guy. And we can move on with any other possible holes. A lot of talk about possibly Claude Giroux. Possible trade aspects. I've seen Tippett, Vertrano, and a first. I saw one trade that included Lucas Carlson, which I'm definitely not interested in losing him because that creates a hole where we just finally solve that hole. So I'm not interested in losing Lucas Carlson. 7-3 Panthers, that's the prediction. Let's get to Alright, so it's one nothing Panthers, and that's the only good news. Um, well, I shouldn't say it's the only good news, but the only news right now that I'm interested in is Anton Lundell. Uh, he, he, he had a penalty. He came out of the penalty box. He had the puck. He looked like he might be able to score. He kind of went down awkwardly, skated slowly off, went to the bench. The trainer was working on him, talking to him, got up skated on the ice to test it, just went from the one door to the other door and walked straight to the locker room with what appeared to be a limp. Not overly ecstatic about that, obviously. Now, if it's the kind of thing where he misses a week, two weeks could be pushing that you'd hate to lose him for the entire, entire road trip. He did not come back. There was about four minutes left in the first period, maybe five, so it's possible we could still see him come back. Didn't look overly vicious or anything like that. So the point is, if he misses a week or two or comes back healthy, it'd be okay. Because it would probably cost him the Calder, but he'd be rested and healthy for the rest of the run and for the playoffs. So you try to find a silver lining there. Maybe he comes back and he's okay. But if it's even tweaked, just let him take the rest of the night off. Maybe even take tomorrow night off. There's no need to push him. I just that's that's one guy we can't afford to lose. I mean, you could slide Achari back up there, but no, Achari is not Anton Lundell. That nobody is Anton Lundell, but most assuredly, no, Achari is not Anton Lundell, and neither is Lusterainen. So let's just hope for the best there. We had a goal called off. It took the guys in the booth and the league a little bit of while to see it. I saw it immediately with my laser beam eyes. Somehow, the the net lifted up. The puck one went underneath the net. Somehow my eyes caught that, so I was I didn't even text anybody that it was going to be a goal. I knew that sucker was going to be waved off. Anton Lundell, that's all I got to say. All right, so it's 5 nothing after 2. The way this is looking, especially the way poor Craig Anderson is just getting absolutely... Hung out to dry is an understatement. What the Buffalo defense is doing to poor Anderson. It's possible, however unlikely. I mean, we'd have to get five. But I've been saying we're going to get ten in one of these road games. If it's ever going to happen, it could be tonight. Now, the downer for me especially, 
You know I'm a huge Anton Lundell fan. He didn't come back. It didn't look great. I mean, it doesn't look like anything season-ending or anything like that. But, you know, it, it, it certainly smells like a week or two. It, it, it's a long road trip. We don't, you know, we, we, we have the one home game until the 23rd. 23rd? 23rd or 29th. Whatever it is. Um, hopefully he's okay. Lower body, he's out. And we'll see what happens. It, 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 whatever it is, it don't look like he'll be in the game tomorrow either. We'll just put it that way. However... However, somebody had asked me on the live stream what I thought about the possible Noel Achari trade rumors. I didn't see them, but I said I don't have any interest in trading Noel Achari, and I really don't have any interest in trading Noel Achari. Now, did you see that call? That was beautiful. He's very capable of doing that. He's blocking shots. He was, especially if Lundell is out, we need Achari for the PK. All right, It was a bonus that we, he was coming back, but now you see his value. Because we can slot Reinhardt in it at 3C, which is pretty damn nice, okay? They moved Hornquist up. He immediately almost got a goal. And Nolachari is taking big face-offs, blocking shots, scoring goals. So we've got depth. We've got depth. So we're good. And that's the one thing Stu and I have talked about a lot. We've gone back and forth. It's like, it's nice to get a guy like Claude Drew, but at the same time, if you trade away too much of your depth to get him, all right, you know, you trade away too many guys, the next thing you know, we're one injury away from eating Joe Thornton on the ice in the playoffs, which I think we'd like to avoid. And all due respect. So, it's 5 nothing Panthers. It'd be a perfect game with everything but with, for the Lundell injury. So, for the purposes of Spencer Knight and the third period, I'll put Lundell on the shelf over here. That's all I'm going to mention about that. Let's finish this off and get to All right, all right, all right. Two nice points. One, two, three, four, five, six to one. Damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. I don't know what else. We need to come up with a shutout celebration. Like the hat trick, you know you're going to throw the hat. I guess if we get a shutout, I should do a topless. Is that? No, that's the... I can, I can hear the booze from here. That's an unpopular answer. <laughs> All right, Spencer and I, with the almost shutout, but let's kind of be honest, they hit a couple of posts. So it, it, it was 6-1. It was, he, it was to one. he had a hell of a nice game. Didn't have a whole lot of shots faced against them. The third period, we kind of took our foot off the gas a little bit there defensively, uh, especially on the one Buffalo power play. I thought that's where they were going to actually get their goal. They had full possession. And it had a ton of shots on that power play. So, all right. Um, we already know the Lundell news. Hopefully that works out in our favor. If he doesn't play tomorrow night, we'll see how it goes. Uh, they were talking about most likely it makes sense. Max and Mammon would be the next guy up. So he'd probably slide in on that bottom pair, on the bottom line, I should say. And the, the line actually, the third line with Reinhardt, Bertrano, and Hornquist, they actually looked pretty good. And then coach was mixing and matching. Once they got the five, you know, four and five, nothing. You know, then I don't mind the line blender. Just throw guys out there and have some fun. And it was good to see. It took them a little bit of while. It took them a little bit of time to take Bark off and Huberto off the ice. There was, you know, it's what, six nothing at some point. And I think there was still like six minutes left and Bark off and Huberto were out there. And I'm yelling at the screen. We got the Penguins tomorrow. Get the hell off the ice. And they listen. And hey, you know, since my rant, since my rant, we've allowed three goals in the three games since my rant. It's just coincidence. I understand. I get it. Either way, if nobody's listening, but the it's energetic, right? We're doing good. We're, we're this is much better. Those three games, like I said, hopefully that rant was perfectly timed. That's the longest losing streak we'll have all season. What else did we see? The defense looks good. The defense is sh shutting people down. And this is because, in case you haven't noticed, why do Ekblad, who has the answer to this question? This is a good question for the class. Why are Ekblad and Uyghur looking so much better these last three games? Why do they look so much better? Why are they not making mistakes? Anybody? 
Who's got the answer? What, Steve, do you got the answer for me? Why? Why? Because they're playing defense. When these last three games, do you see Ekblad and Uyghur carrying the puck into the zone, trying to be Bobby Orr? Do you see them trying to be offensive superstars? No. They're playing defense. They're staying back. They're staying rested because they're not skating all over the damn rink. You're a defenseman. You take your chances when they're there. But this is, this is not going to be the Mike Matheson show. So this is much better, these three games. I, if they're going to play like this, keep them as a pair. It's fine. Keep the entire defense. Speaking of which, I love Radko Gudis. Especially love him when, in our, when he's on our team. He's just the right guy we need. But, uh, did he really have to kill that guy with its... I mean, he's, he, he nailed him right into the board's head first. I, I love Gudis. I'm surprised there wasn't a penalty. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some discipline from the league after the second time. And Goldie and Randy just kind of, they didn't say anything. But I'm watching it, and it was, he, it almost could have been charging. He definitely went after the guy. The puck was already gone. Gudis knew the puck was gone. And he just, it was a clean hit from the angle that he hit him. He hit him in the side, so it wasn't a cross check but head first into the board. Um, it just was a little bit unnecessary at that point in the game because that's the kind of thing that a minute later, you know, they'll take a run at one of our guys, you know, they'll take a run at Marchman or whoever else is on the ice since Barkoff and Hubert were off. And you just, it's just, I love the rough stuff. I love the rough play. But when it's 6-1 with, what was it, three minutes left, two minutes left, you, we don't need to do that then. So that's enough for that. I'm just wondering if I'm the only one that felt that way. Um, Spencer Knight looked good, obviously. The workload wasn't crazy, but when he had to make some nice saves, he did. And the beat goes on. This, this was a good start to the road trip. Like we said, 9 out of 10 are on the road. You anticipated two points out of this game. Now we move on. And we got Pittsburgh just sitting there waiting for us. And most likely, you got to assume we're going to do that without Anton Lundell. Sam Reinhardt slots into 3C. I'm good. How much do you lose there? I mean, you lose some, you lose some stuff there, okay. But Reinhardt's probably better in the face-off circle than Lundell. Achari moves into that penalty kill spot. The, I don't want to lose Lundell, don't get me wrong. But for we can, we can handle that. That, that's a loss that we can continue to win games now. Playoff time is a different story. We need Anton Lundell. He's a key part to the team. But, you know, he's a rookie. Sometimes rookies tend to wear out towards the end of the season. So if he gets another week or two off to rest his body, he'll be fresher for the playoffs. Like I said, find a silver lining. Now that's the second game in a row Duclair's got to go in the power play. That's something to pay attention to. That is good. In the second period, I said Hornquist almost scored a goal immediately. What I meant to say was he's, it, he almost immediately scored a goal, but they, he did score. So, yeah, Bark, you know, Barkov didn't Yeah, Barkov got the sixth goal. Did you see the look on Barkov's face? <laughs> did he, Huberto passes it to Barkov. Barkov puts it in the net, and Barkov looked at Huberto as if to say, these guys suck, man. I mean, it was it was a beautiful look. It was almost like he was annoyed that he scored. It was it was it was interesting. So, all right, that's enough yipping and yapping. It was a good game. Stu and I will be back tomorrow morning. Then we got hockey again tomorrow. So we're gonna do this whole thing all over again. Uh, the live stream's going good. Getting a lot of people showing up. I've been giving away at least one card per game. I gave away two for a few times today. I gave away a Gord Murphy card. Huh? What do you think about that? So that was there was it was a Panthers trivia question involving the players today. Gord Murphy card going out in the mail tomorrow. During the playoffs, we're doing the same thing, but it won't always be cards. I'm going to have shirts. I've got pucks. I've got magazines. I, every game during the live stream is going to be at least one giveaway. So get your orders in now. All right. All right. That's enough. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get this sucker to 1,500. 1,500 subscribers. I've been hovering around 1,480 for about three weeks now. I had a big surge of growth, and all of a sudden it's just like kaputs. 
because we stopped scoring eight goals a game, I guess. We're only scoring five or six. So I'd like to get to 1,500. I was hoping to get to 2,000 before the, before the playoffs start. I'm going to have to start making more videos and work a little bit harder if that's going to happen, which I will gladly do in exchange for the pushing of the subscription button. So why do I call it the subscription button? The subscribe button. I can't talk. All right. Two points. Beautiful night. I will see you guys again three times tomorrow. How do you how do you like that? Three. You get three videos tomorrow, and that's if we don't make a deal or make a trade or something happens. That's it's beautiful.